currently 62 degrees in Tampa, Florida. And I know that that doesn't sound like a little bit, but I am from Florida and it is cold and I do not like it. And I wanted to get a run in anyways, so I am wearing my Mary Bucking Christmas onesie with my NASA shirt underneath. And I don't care what you think. Thank you very much. What is up, y'all? I am so tired. It's first day back from vacation, and I am tired, and I am hungry, and I wanna go to bed, but I told myself I was gonna film this video because some of y'all need to know this information. So that's what I'm doing now. So I've had a lot of people contact me and ask me, hey, how'd you lose weight? What are you doing to lose weight? How do I lose weight? What am I doing wrong? This, that, and the fourth. And I am here to tell you that it's not that hard and that I can do it, you can do it. Which I know a lot of people say, but, on, but like honestly though, if I can do it, you can do it. And I'm gonna show you how, and it's gonna be super simple, and you're gonna be like, Laura, thank you so much for helping me out. I'm gonna be like, oh, you're welcome. Love you. Okay, bye. So I know this is probably gonna be common sense, but I want to make this as easy and understandable as possible. So basically to lose weight, really, really easy. Are you ready for this? Basically, all it takes to lose weight is diet and exercise. <laughs> Now I don't say that to say that you're dumb or whatever for not having thought of that or thinking that that's, you know, not enough. But honestly, it really meant a lot to me when I learned that that's all I needed. I literally tried everything. I tried Body by V. I tried like those slim packs. I tried literally everything in the world. And then one day it just clicked and I learned what I actually had to do, the information that I'm about to share with you and it literally changed my life. So I'm gonna to explain to you what you need to do. It's gonna be super simple and you're gonna thank me and you're gonna love me. And if you follow this very, very simple concept, I guarantee you, you will lose weight. All right guys, so this is what I did and this is probably the most important part of anything that I could tell you. Now, what I looked up is IIFYM calculator and you wanna to go to the first link. The IIFYM means if it fits your macros. Basically what that means is you can eat anything, and I mean anything, if it fits your macros. What are macros? Macros are proteins, fats, and carbs. And you're going to want to find a balance that works for you um, to lose weight. Now, how do you find that balance, you may ask? This is how the IIFYM cal calculator is going to help you out so much. So you put your information, I'm gonna fill it out so that you guys can see. An example, I'm 25, my height is 5'3", even though some of y'all say I'm not, but whatever. My current weight is 173, and my goal weight is 125. Now, describe your daily activities. You're going to want to be so, so, so honest with this. If you're not being honest with this, then you're not giving yourself a good chance. I'm going to put sedentary because I work a desk job now. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't account for your workouts. You're going to put that in later. So if you're working a desk job, put sedentary. If you know you're a little bit active, give yourself, make yourself very honest with this so that you're getting the best results. Exercise output, days per week exercising. Now, you're going to want to give this a very conservative number. Let's say you average three times a week. Um, but some weeks you'll do, you know, one or two. Go with one or two so that it's giving you a better um, thing to work with. You know, you're not going to want to overeat your calories and going under just a little bit can help you out. So I'm going to put 30 minutes because that's, you know, average. Sometimes I'll work out for min four times a week with 60 minutes. It all depends, but I'm going to put this because it's kind of an average of what I do. How intense is your exercise? Moderate. Again, I'm going a little bit lower than what it should be um, just to, you know, give me something to work with. Now, this is where you're going to set your goals. I'm going to put that I want to lose, let's say, 15% a week. 15% is suggested. 
with 15%, you'll probably lose about a pound a week, maybe a little bit less. Um, what I do is the, um, I, so I eat about this much a week. Yeah, that's a little bit lower, um, than what I usually eat. I I don't know, maybe I put this, but I mean, it's only lower by seven calories. So my macros haven't changed much since the last time. Now click here to get your macros. This right here, this number is what you're going to be eating your calorie intake. So you do not want to go over this amount of calories to lose weight. Where should I send your macros to? My name is and my email to get my information. Send me my macros right now. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Laura, you've made one of the best decisions ever by calculating your macros. Here is what I was wanting to focus on. Protein grams, 113. Fat grams, 69. Carb grams, 112, and fiber grams. Fiber grams is new. I haven't seen this one. Very, very interesting. Okay, so basically what this means is I need to be eating these amounts of proteins, fats, carbs, grams a day. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, what do I do with these calories? Well, you're going to want to track your calories. And I know a lot of people say, I'm just not good at tracking, blah, blah, blah. That is how you lose weight. You need to know the food that is going inside of your body to lose weight. There is no other way for me to tell you that. So you're going to want to go to MyFitnessPal. Some people use Evolve. I like MyFitnessPal. Um, I'm on a 156-day streak, so that's probably somewhere in July when I started. And you're going to want to press goals. Now, here are your goals, your fitness goals, daily nutrition goals. My calorie intake, um, it's a little bit li- higher than what this thing was saying. Um, I base it off of an old one. I'll probably update it, but I enjoy this level right here. I'm going to want to press edit. Now, to get to these, you know, protein, fat grams, carb grams, I'm going to want to input everything that I put here into here. Now, my fitness pal does it by percentages. So I basically just kind of fidgeted around with these until my carbohydrates And all of that sounded like something similar to what this sounded like. And when you get 100%, you have officially done it. You can go back to your goals or you can go back home. And so then that's when you have your food goal for the day. Now, a lot of people misunderstand the exercise part. Basically, the goal of what you eat does not change from day to day. So if you did not exercise at all that day, you're not going to want to go under this. If you exercised a whole bunch, you're not going to want to go, you know, a whole bunch over this. You might be able to get a little bit over this, but um, don't go crazy because your basic, your TDEE accounts for rest days and accounts for days that you are working out. So you're not going to want to throw off that balance by overeating or under eating. If you under eat, if you're eating only 13,000 calories a day, 1300 calories a day, you are not eating enough calories. You're going to mess up your metabolism over time and it is going to hurt you in the long run. Now, when you're tracking food, um, a lot of what I do is, let's see if you can see my food for the day. I actually am on a meal plan that actually helps me out really well, and it tells me what my carbs, my fats, and my proteins are, but MyFitnessPal, one of the other reasons why I like it so much is because there is a lot of information over time that people have used this to put, you know, what foods kind of get to what, so I can put my foods, you know, so here are the foods that I put, um, So I can go in and say, hey, this is what I ate today and look for things that are similar. Now, a lot of what can be tricky is, well, I don't know how many calories are in that. That is stuff that you'll learn over time. It is legally required for a restaurant to give you the nutrition facts after they have 25 or more restaurants, if you didn't know. So you can find any restaurant's um, 
nutrition facts online and you're going to just want to learn how to do that. Now, it does take time to learn when, you know, hey, this is a home cooked meal. I have no idea. You're going to want to you're going to start learning. This is about how much food makes up this much calories or this is about how much food makes up that much protein and you're going to start learning that stuff so you can search you know if you made homemade chicken you can search homemade chicken and see things that are that are approximately what you ate will be um really 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 is not that hard and I want to get it into your head guys that it is so easy and the only thing that you need to do is track 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 it really is that simple a lot of people lose track or get off their diet because it's too restrictive or because you're doing something that you're not used to or because you know you binge and then you think oh i can't do anything anymore but this diet makes it so easy to keep going i can't tell you how many times i've been like you know what i want right now i want a cheeseburger and i ate that cheeseburger and i still lost weight it's really easy to keep this diet because it's a lifestyle, honestly. And I know you've probably heard that like 20 billion times, but it's so true. If it's something that is not a huge change or a change that you take baby steps to over time, I can guarantee you, you're going to see the results. So if you wanna lose weight this year, I want to help, just reach out to me. Really, honestly, I want to be there. I wish that, Something like this or someone in my life would have told me this years ago when I first wanted to start losing weight or even at the beginning of 2017 when I wanted to start losing weight and I felt like I was in this box. I wish somebody would have reached out and been like, hey, here's what I did and here's what actually works and here's something that's going to stick with you and it's going to be a lifestyle and it's going to be easy for you to stick with. I just honestly want to be there for you 100%. Please. Do not hesitate to reach out 100%. I would love to help people get the results that I'm seeing, to see get the results that others that have used this lifestyle have seen. It literally, I can't tell you enough. That's all I want. Well, I love you guys. I hope you learned something. Honestly, do not hesitate to reach out. If you are a friend of mine, send me a message. Send me a text message. And if you're not a friend of mine, if you're on YouTube or if you're somewhere, being like, hey, how do I lose weight? Oh, I found this video. Leave a comment, subscribe. I would honestly love to get to know you, to get to know what your goals are and how I can help. Please, honestly, I really want to help. It's become such a passion of mine after learning how easy, honestly, how easy it is. So, hope to see you soon and until the next video.